Hey Kerbal Space Fans, how's everybody doing? This is Raw here with another episodic build series type thing. So the set I'm going to do is, uh, you know, as many episodes as it takes, because every time I venture a guess as to how many episodes it's going to be, it ends up being like twice that. So I'm just going to keep my mouth shut about that anyway. And uh, we're going to start building. So what I'm going to build here is I'm going to build a functional, it's not going to look just like it, but it's going to be a functional style replica of like the Apollo um, style mission to the moon. So we're going to make a separate lander, we're going to make a, a rocket stage that doesn't lose this asparagus uh, staging. Since I've done this a few times, like in practice before shooting this video, I know that I only really need two stages. There's going to be a two stage rocket within the command module and the lander. So let's get cracking. So we're going to need a decoupler on top and might as well put the launch tower because it's awesome. We're gonna put the parachutes now. I like to put the parachutes similar to how the how the Apollo capsule had it that had three. If you put three right around the door and pretty high up, like almost on top of the docking port, you'll see that it doesn't really clip the windows on either side. And the door and the flag are totally unobstructed, so that works out pretty well. Now this is what's gonna come back. Basically, what we're going to get really get back from this entire mission is going to be the crew inside there, the three parachutes, and the docking port. Everything else will die, or be blown up, or burn up on re-entry, or crash. I'm going to put this in order to build the rest of the command module, and uh, this is going to be heavy on the RCS. So I'm going to put a, a big RCS tank. And for all the stuff, you know, maneuvering, orbiting, and whatnot, we're going to put that there. It's a nice sized tank. I like the the, you know, the bigger way around. Now, of course, we're going to want the actual RCS. I put these right under the coupler. I put some there. Some here. And I put four of these back there. I'm going to offset these because then I'm going to make the some fairings and other stuff, and I don't want it to get in the way. And of course, we need the lateral control on the capsule itself, so we're going to put these here and here. So a lot of RCS. You might think too much RCS, but I'll show you why it's not actually that much. Now I want to blend this together and have some place to, s to hide both batteries and uh, um. Uh, solar panels. So I'm gonna grab some batteries. Go ahead and bring six. And we're gonna use. Yeah, this connector does nicely. So I'll put those on like that. on some panels and now we're going to use one of our new best friends which is the rotate tool uh, let's give that a little bit of an angle we're going to use our second best friend which is the offset tool and there we go. Now, just to make it look cool and for actual function, I'm gonna put headlights on this thing. It has batteries and solar power, so it can run them for a while. Now, I'm not gonna overkill this, of course. There's no reason to put that many lights, but we need to do, do need to see what's in front of us and what's behind us. So I'm gonna put two. Aim in back. And two more. Aim it forward. And of course, it's going to need some kind of method of propulsion. So we're going to use the trusty skipper engine. This will be good for circularizing our orbits around the moon and whatnot. And I don't want it to cover those things though. Let's put the engine on first. And then we'll put these on here. There we go. Very nice. Now, mm, 
I think I'll put these here better. They obstruct the terminal off you there. Okay, I'll let's all use six of these then. It can break better than it can accelerate, which is interesting, but that's fine. Alright, great. So now we have the command module. Now we're going to build the infamous LEM. And since we want this to look like a rocket, you know, we're going to pretend that there's atmospheric pressures on this. We're going to build fairings. So put that there. And that's fine. All of these things will be done manually, so I don't bother with uh, staging yet. This is probably the first time I'm going to look into the staging directly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down the decoupler that will allow us to be rid of the fairing. No, I think it's six is fine. And what I'm going to do is just put this big wing on it. Okay, we're going to center it. Right. I mean, it touches those things a little bit, but it's not to be a problem. We, of course, don't want this thing to wobble in the wind, so we're going to put struts. Okay. Now, this staging I do want to keep separate. That I do want to do manually when I when I'm doing my my maneuvers to capture the lemon and whatnot. I'm going to jettison that this then. Alright, so the lem. Since um, we have the decoupler to get rid of this entire part, the lem itself doesn't need one because it's going to start by being a docking port. So I'm going to stick the docking port on the bottom of the decoupler. And I'm going to put one of those little um, things so that I can fly the limb down and crash it into the moon later and not leave too much orbiting crap. We're going to use a lander can. It needs to be powered. Now, I've, I've tried this with solar powers before, and since on the moon you're in the dark so often, it just doesn't work out. I'm not going to do it that way. So I'm going to just put two of these here on the side. And I mean, actually, let's see. Did it work on the top like that? Mm, no, not really. I'll just feel like that. I mean, it looks funny, but whatever. Now this part is going to come back to the command module. It's going to need lights, so I'm going to put just two. Again, just two lights. I want them to face up. Now here's where we're gonna start doing a little bit of uh a little bit of clipping, you know, not illegal amounts of clipping, but we're gonna use our offset tool and we're going to sink these a bit into the side like that. And then we're gonna rotate them and make sure they're sticking up. There we go. Now it has headlights. I'm going to just sink these in a little bit. I'm still going to have some part of them sticking out, but not much. That's too much. It does work like when you're using the regular editor that you if you hold shift, it gives you a little bit of finer control. So that's good there. Now, the moon landers, when I pull the program, the return flight was all RCS. Now we don't have a single RCS engine that I can just put here on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two of the new little RCS engines. Those are plenty powerful enough to bring this thing back. I'm going to line it with the door just because... Oops. All right, there we go. Now in order to make this look like they're a single engine, I'm going to use the offset tool here and make them just have the nozzle stick out of the bottom of the rocket thing. There it is. That doesn't look bad at all. Okay. Um, 
actually. I'm gonna have to decup I'm gonna have to, have to put a decouple on the bottom of this, so I'm gonna sink them in up more than down. Okay, that looks better. There we go, that's good. Now all this runs on pure RCS fuel, that thing's not gonna get us anywhere. So tacked on to the bottom of this thing are gonna be some bigger RCS tanks, because I mean we're literally gonna need to do the entire trip back from the surface of the moon using RCS. So I'm going to put that there like that. And of course we also need docking RCS. So I'm going to put four of these. That's going to give us both the, RC the RCS lift and control to come back. So this is pretty clear. I can now put a decoupler. I'm going to put a big decoupler. Uh, I'm going to use the blue one I used on the other one. I like these because they're tiny. It's, it's little. So, it gives me a wide base to build off of, and also doesn't get in my way, right? So the basis for the landing portion of the limb is going to be one of these tanks with one of these small engines. I use these for everything. Half of my SSTOs, Moonlanders, all kinds of stuff. I love these things. It's the LV-909. I love the LV-909. Uh, now, of course, that's not nearly enough fuel to get us to the surface of the moon. So we're also going to build out with some more tanks. Now I want to offset the tank so that they're not... I don't want the tank here in front of where the ladder is going to go. I'm going to use 4 times symmetry. I'm going to make it a little bit part of the decoupler because it's going to stay with it anyway. But I'm going to make it so that we can so that we can put the ladder between the tanks when the boys try to get off. There we go. Of course we need some hoses so that all this fuel feeds back into where the engines are. Just one settled do. And we need some struts. I'm going to strut from here to here. And then to not get in the way, I'll strut from here to here. And here to here. Alright, so that's the majority of our lander. Almost done. The lander's going to need lights, but I don't want them to be too big and bright because I don't want them to use too much battery. So I'm going to stick them on the outside so that I get them all pointing the right way. And then I'm going to use my offset tool to bring them down and in. There we go. That looks good. We're now going to put some legs on there. The, neither the stress nor the lights are impeding those at all. Okay, so I want these to, you know, give me a wider base. So I don't need them to stick out so far. And I'm going to use my offset tool to work them in a little bit so that they don't stick out. Now let's go. Let's see what the little like retracted. Is there a lot of clipping going on here? Ack. Crap. Control Z. Alright. Mm, yeah, that's a lot of clipping. Let's update these out a little more so it's not so shameless. There we go. So now open these. Bam. Alright. Those look pretty good. Actually, I think I'm going to rotate them up a little bit and then just pull them out a little more. That looks good for the landing. Let's see what it looks like when it's retracted. Hmm. I can live with that. That's not bad. I mean, you deploy this and you leave them down. Then you never put them back up. So it's not going to clip on the way back, and I'm not going to really worry about them when I'm retracting them. Because this entire part's going to stay on the moon anyway, right? So, heck with it. Now, of course, even though it's completely unnecessary because of the moon's low gravity, but mostly for looks and fun, we're going to put a letter. 
I do the same with this one as I do with the legs. I just want to make sure they don't clip anything too much. And it looks fine. Alright, so there's the lander. Now the lander is going to be mounted on a decoupler of its own. Big honking one. And now I have to worry about structural stuff. So the only thing holding everything, and uh, everything that's going to be built from this decoupler down, which is two monster stages of rocket, and the limb, and this thing, is really being held on by this little thing. So, of course, that's not going to be strong enough. So, as most of you might guess, we're going to strut the crap out of it. I'm going to use 8 times symmetry. I'm going to use 8 times symmetry to attach these here. I'm going to probably do this twice. So I'm going to go once there. And once there, I guess. Now it looks funky. That's okay, I guess. That'll hold. I'm not going to use 8 times symmetry down here because this is based on 4 times symmetry. Then we're going to run a line of struts from here. A line of struts from here. And... I guess from the middle. Okay, so that's pretty well straightened. And that's going to be the... Yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be able to hold the rocket now. So here comes the second stage. This is going to be doing the circularization around Kerbin and our transfer burn from Kerbin to the moon. And it's going to be that one. Alright, so... Again, all of these things for the most part are to be done manually. Except, of course, the, de the detaching of the limb from the legs. So that decoupler and that decoupler are going to be together. This is going to be after, of course, fairing separation. But everything else here is going to be done manually. So that and the firing of the engine is going to be done in conjunction with the decoupling of the first stage. So might as well leave that and leave that together. So that's where I'm going to end this episode. This is the construction of basically the transfer stage, the lander, and the command module. And the next episode will be finishing off the first stage and putting fairings. There's going to of course have to be a fairing that covers pretty much all of this. But we'll get that later. So for now, this is Raw signing off and reminding everybody to fly safe. And thanks to all the new subscribers. Still got a couple new subscribers these last couple of weeks. Which amazed me because I haven't made a video in like two months. But again, thank you guys. Welcome. And uh, feel free to comment all you want with questions, suggestions, what you want me to do next. Any of the games you want me to play. I was thinking of uh, making a video about this new game I'm playing called Gear Up. It's a new um, Steam beta that came out. It's, it's free. It reminds me a little bit of Robocraft. It's like you know, one of those like battle arenas where you build a little robot and you go out and shoot people. So I've been playing that some. I got back on EVE Online, so that's another reason why I haven't been playing Kerbal Space Program. And I've been playing a lot of Dota 2. Any any people that love EVE Online, Dota 2, or are thinking of playing um, Gear Up, leave a comment down below. I'm always looking for new Steam friends or new friends in EVE. But for now, uh, signing out. See you guys around, and thank you.